What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Blue Bill back with another video. Sorry, I ain't got the trumpets this time, but uh, look, today we got Myron doesn't miss for twelve minutes. All right, I was watching the, I was watching this video, and I'm like, I gotta watch it with the Femi. So let's tap in. Uh oh, the lawyer, the lawyer. Well, according to Tort Forty Seven, uh, the law school that I'm in right now, love is actually it's peripheral. Equal. It's anyway, go ahead. Because she's an attorney. Well, I was gonna say that women love more, but I was. After Myron, you just worded it saying, who cares more? And I think this whole entire night, we've been talking about how men are the leaders and men are the ones that take care of and provide and this and that. So shouldn't men love more? I'm just... Because I know no. you guys, I know, no. Let me ask you, That's, let me ask no, you a okay. question. If men are, if men are putting their ass on the line and they're going to protect us and they're going to be like, if it's a dangerous situation or you're going to, you know, put the family first and stuff, shouldn't you guys love more? If we're the opportunists... Doing every first of all, let's talk about this setup. They got the ladies over here. They got the crowd of dudes over here. And the ladies got the mic. They got my boy. My boy over here. You know what I'm saying? Him and his little posse. I see him. Exactly. Um, they got the laptop. Professionals. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they got dudes blurting out. Crowd. It's a lot going on around here. All right, so if women, if women are opportunists and men are idealists, then men technically love more. No, I, I disagree with that because you're even a guy that doesn't know you, that doesn't have any type of allegiance to you, will still still show you some level of chivalry or damn near being a simp without you doing anything for it. Loving so that's the man that's going to put me and my family first? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that since... We, okay, let me ask you this. Okay. Who appreciates being simped on more, men or women? women. I men. think men. That is such a freaking good question, by the way. Because and, and I'm going somewhere with that. If you get something all the time, it has no value. Okay? The reason why the woman needs to care more is because we're already operating from a deficit like as a man. man. Yeah. You're already getting simps hitting you up. You're already getting, you know, opportunities. You're already getting guys willing to spend money on you, protect and but provide for you love. for nothing more. Hold on. But the, the point is, is that women don't appreciate chivalry anymore, which is why I said chivalry is dead. So to overcorrect for this crazy discrepancy in 2023, the woman must care more about the man because, quite frankly, I hate to say it like this, Women are terrible people when they have leverage. They don't appreciate things because they're given everything for simply existing, and I don't blame you guys for it. If I was 18 years old, having bad chicks willing to fly me out to L.A. to hang out with them or being invited on yacht rides or being invited to Dubai, whatever, for nothing more than the fact that I have a penis, I'd be a piece of shit too. But since I understand this, I know that men, right, need to be in a position where the girl likes it more to overcorrect for all the things that men have, uh, the, for all the discrepancies I just mentioned, the, the, the severe deficit in the dating marketplace. Because you get all the things I mentioned just now for free. So women don't appreciate simps, but men do. That's why. You're going to get good treatment if you simp on your man. But he's not going to get good treatment if he simps on you. Right. Right. Gotcha. Let, let me... Let me just... If, if I can, just give a quick, very tangible example. Um, all three of us had to put in years of work, thousands of video, millions of dollars we've all made, just for the chance for the three of us to be on this stage hosting a show and being special guests. What have you guys done to be on the show? The what have you guys, see. Yeah, all we had to do was to get you amazing girls on the show was say, hey, we're doing a show. Uh, we need a bunch of girls. We got 50 women to say yes, and we picked 20 of you. And thank you guys for being here. But the qualifications and the standards to get on this Lower. fucking stage are very, oh. very high if, if you're the dude, and not very so high low. if you're the female. I'm sorry to say. Well, well, I, no one wants to admit this, but in 2023, women live life on easy mode because women are able to simultaneously double dip and act like a lady and get certain privileges, be treated like a lady, while also being able to be in their masculine and chase a career, etc. And, and I'll take it a step further. If they do decide to chase that career, a masculine one at that, they have an inherent advantage. 
You know, I saw that interview that you had with those two FBI agents. This is true. If you work in a masculine dominant field, women are promoted at a higher level, especially yep. in male dominated fields. Like we have affirmative action here and women have all the same rights and privileges that men do while having female privileges that men will never enjoy. So the reality is life is easier for women in 2023. There's a reason why a woman can make a million dollars on OnlyFans, and there's 1.47 million women. Because men give it to them. Because men give it to them. You guys don't, don't get to do that. You guys had to work very hard to get where you are. So we're not equal. She had something in the back. Sorry? Yeah. Thank you. Janelle. Someone was trying to say something in the back. I yeah, I just think, you, like you say, well, women don't have to do anything to get this opportunity to be on this stage, but I think it's because you successful men are Bro. giving us... Out to LA to All we had to do is... I go live. That junk, that junk's like sounds crazy because like she like she just say like women can just make a million on OnlyFans, yeah, <laughs> like just like social move, like like yeah, that's what we be doing. You know what I'm saying? We can just check it. You know what I'm saying? That's power. I can't do that, or I probably can. Probably some dudes who out here do that, but I still would need a female. I don't think no female is gonna watch me and do that. You know what I'm saying? But if you a female, y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. Tight shit. So I don't know how the fuck it is. And that's the that's the that's crazy that she actually just said that. We're not equal. She had something in the back. Sorry? Yeah. It, thank you. Someone no. was trying to say something in the back. I, yeah, I just think, please. You, like you say, well, women don't have to do anything to get this opportunity to be on this stage, but I think it's because you successful men are giving us those opportunities. You men are sexualizing us, and want the, you want us in the clubs. You want us at your table. You want us here, so we're here. So. That's the point. Awesome, That's and thank saying. you for being here. And, and exactly. here's the thing. We're not, we're not insulting you for taking the opportunity. I'm simply acknowledging that the opportunity exists. Right. Yes. Yeah, right. yeah. And by the way, how many female podcasts do you see three females and 30 dudes up on stage hey, being like, quick. yeah, I'm out here, just a dude looking <laughs> to have an opportunity. Yo, you don't see it. Here's the thing, too. Adam, I don't know if you noticed it, right? Because yeah. what she just said was, you're, the men are the ones inviting us and giving us these, these opportunities, etc. I always say on the show, privilege is invisible to those that have it. She said that knowing, right? Like she didn't, it didn't even come to her mind that I'm getting these privileges because I'm a woman. She went ahead and said it anyway. It, it actually made your argument weaker. But women don't see it because privilege is invisible to them because it's so common. This is why I tell y'all, women live life on easy mode. So the only thing that they're gonna respect is when they actually have to work for something. And that needs to be your validation, your attention, and your time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're kind of using us as decoration, you know? Decoration. <laughs> It's like a that still, that still does not opportunity hold for on, you, hold on, but too, you know? Not really. I didn't know there would be this many women, and I didn't, wouldn't have enough time to, like, That proves my, my point, mind. that there's many of you, but one of me. Right. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, w the things that make a woman attractive are extremely common. But maybe a, maybe a woman that had a podcast would choose the same amount of men oh, so that men can, funny? can really speak just I've as deep much dived as on this. women. All the top podcasts, male-dominated. Yeah, I'm not saying that women are doing more podcasts. No, but I'm just saying, and, and here's the thing, when women do have podcasts, I mean, what, so, I can think of like one successful one, one, they might bring a guy on here and there, but yeah. they're not bringing random guys. The guys have to have status to be able to come on. Yeah. yeah. Hey, he's spitting facts. They definitely do, because I was about to say, it was a podcast, because I seen DDG on a podcast, but DDG got status. Not bringing on no, they trying to bring on Chris Brown. They trying to bring on... They trying to bring on some shit, nigga. But so yeah. what's your point? Free advice for the ladies out there. Just Start a podcast. Can, the whole time the dude on there, they shooting a shot too, nigga. Fuck is you saying? I'm telling you, I'm seeing this shit. Start, start a podcast and invite a bunch of random dudes on and see how many dudes just show up to your podcast. You should start it. Right. Again, yeah, well, okay. Um, it's let me know how that now. works out for you. I'm getting a red pill right now. Yeah. Like... The girls are saying things that quite literally prove what we're saying that women have privilege. Yeah. And they don't even realize that what you're saying is privileged. You're saying, yeah. well, we're here for decoration. Yeah, yes. Literally, yeah. In other words, you don't have to bring value to be here. Yo, yeah. do you know? I mean, a privilege. Like, like, am, I, am I the only person that sees this? Now, now what yeah, I will like, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. what I, what I yeah. will 
Okay, so Myron thing is, is he's trying to explain to people that the red, I mean, it's invisible. Okay. People who have privilege don't know that they have privilege. It's invisible. All right. So I kind of sort of get what he's saying. Oh, and I like that theory because I go, I can really deep down in that theory. Like a lot of people, let's say to 18, right? A lot of people don't know how good they have it because they don't see that they have privilege that, hey, I'm 18. So if I go right now and go get a job and I work till I'm 48, I can be out by 48. But they'd be like, you know what? I got time. I can do this. I can do that. I can do that. Ooh, they don't see like that they had that privilege. It's just when you have it, when you look, when you're young and look good, you know what I'm saying? You don't be like, all right, I'm about to. I'm I'm young and look good. I'm about to go find me a girlfriend. Sometimes when you young, you look good. You just want to go whatever you want because you got privilege. And you can't because you got privilege. But when you get older, you that privilege go start going away. So you either used it when you had it. So I get what he's saying though. You know what I'm saying? Just about privilege, period. And I see how he kind of sort of looking at the world from that direction. Just about Privilege is invisible. Uh, privilege is invisible. And, yeah, it's invisible. I will say is, is this, is that when you show up uh, as, quote-unquote, decoration, how you handle yourself is, is a very true testament to what you, like, for instance, Janelle's had some amazing answers. Melina, very opinionated. I don't know how the audience feels about uh, Melina. <laughs> But she, the girl in the blue, amazing answers. This girl over here, like, how you handle yourself accordingly, like, will dictate your value beyond just being eye candy. Yeah. Too much is yeah. given, much is required. So, if I so, feel like a decoration, real quick, real quick. Either. What's your name? Louis. Louis. I guarantee you, right? If you had a chance to sit right here, would you? See, he wants to sit here, but he's not here. Why? He's not a woman. So for you, you should be glad to be here. Right. Opportunity. That's it. Privilege is invisible, so there's a habit. Yeah, there's a habit. Yeah. So, you know, men have to work far harder to get certain things that women get for free. That's just the reality. Women don't get boats and put a bunch of 18 year old dudes on there. <laughs> men work really hard for 18 years to be able to purchase the boat so that the 18 year old girls want to come, the 19 year old girls want to come, etc. The 21 year olds, whatever it is, right? Men have to bring value to get attention or even be seen by women, but women don't have to bring value on the other end. And here's the other thing too. There's a saying. I, someone here could probably help me with this one in Spanish. The quieter you are, the more beautiful you are, right? Be oh, somebody got it. Angie got it. Angie got it. Angie, say it really loud for the audience. There you go. Now they're gonna be quiet after that. Claro. <laughs> but the, you, the thing up, is, <laughs> this guy fucking Klaus. But the thing is, right? Why is it that that's a universal saying in all the different Latin countries? Why is it that you know men like quiet women, right? We've been saying that for years, whatever. Because women aren't valued on their opinions. Unfortunately. No, it's because you can't take pushback. Oh, bro. Because he doesn't like the pushback. Why is Steven not here? This. Because you don't no. like the pushback. It's it's not about. No, it's oh. In all the different lands. But the thing is, right? Why is it that that's a universal <laughs> saying in all the different Latin countries? Why is it that you know men like quiet women, right? We've been saying that for years, whatever. Because women aren't valued on their opinions. Unfortunately. No, it's because you can't take pushback. Oh, bro. How many times oh, that she got you there, man. Because he doesn't like the pushback. Why is Steven not on here? This. Because you don't no. like the pushback. It's it's not about. No, it's let not me. About that. <laughs> hey. Hey. hey, he said. She said, "Fuck you." Damn. That nigga said, "Get in the kitchen." And they start clapping. I don't we think she can cook. We work hard to get the teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't know about all that, buddy. Trap them. The, the thing you don't understand is that pushing back is an inherently masculine trait, which is yep. cool if you want to make money and be assertive and be dominant. 
but most guys aren't gay, so they don't want to date themselves. They want the opposites. What would you would you like it if I showed up on Saturdays and wore heels? Sure, why not? Oh That's because God. she pegged their husband. That answers but itself. I women, so okay, we have thing. one girl. Listen, listen, listen. We have one girl, listen, listen, listen. Have one girl that wants to make an opinion. That's point, Adam. Melina, yes. you've spoken more than any girl on the stage by fucking I've been far. Quiet for se like an okay. hour here, and because that's why everyone's having a great time. Push me yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, he cooking her. He cooking her. <laughs> hey, she got she got to respect it though. She got to respect it. He can't beat that. You see, he flexing. <laughs> you can't fuck, bitch. Shut up. He's still trying to talk. What, 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 what? What was that saying? The quieter, the more beautiful. Say that shit again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, like, he on that. He on that. So, like, she lost. Look, but the shut up, bitch, was crazy, bro. <laughs> I low-key want to... <laughs> Bro, I'm adding that to the collection. Okay. Make your point. 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 Go ahead. So, right. the, the heels thing, you were trying to respond to that. I said, would you want a guy that would, like, if I... She said yes. She said yes. It's the same thing, is it? I don't think that's what it is. If I say that... I want someone to push me, like in conversation, to push me as a person or challenge me. That's different from like someone showing up at heels. No, well, here's mean? the thing: if you have to push your man, mm -hmm. you lost. No, He's not a man. Because, because you can help each other out. That's clearly something. Oh that, of course you can. No, of course when, you can. If a girl has to push her man, see the thing with men is mm -hmm. that it needs to be inherent in you to want to work hard. You need to be self-driven. That's your job as the man. Yeah. Okay. If my girl needs to push me to become better. Right. Then why I'm is just that a bitch. Bad, why is that a bad you can only push him like, for you don't so need, long. I'm not saying that you need to be a complete mess that can't do anything, but like some sort of motivation you wanted from time to time. Are you what push is him actually wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, right? no. This is this like, is my point. I want point. someone to push me. I use and that I analogy. Let me let me well. explain what I mean by that. I use that analogy of heels. It flew right over your head. The reason why I asked you that question is: Would you accept me if I wore heels? If you're, you're, you're saying yes to be funny, you would not accept a feminine man. So why should I accept a masculine woman that wants to push back on me? Mm -hmm. right. yeah. I think that you can Very be. I think good you can be. Point, yeah. I think gentlemen. you admitting that you're wrong and stepping down and trying to learn from your mistakes is a feminine trait because you need to be submissive into form to like keep going because you're stepping what? down you're admitting to being a failure why? because you can move on I don't actually right? understand that's a feminine trait that's a feminine I mean, trait honest, I would she say her husband. I would absolutely call it that way and someone and having someone <laughs> tell you that you're wrong why is you going to, to motivate you to women, the truth bro. like calm right. down put your yeah, dick away okay. all right listen guys oh, guys i would love to do this Let's melina thing for another 10 hours we have to wrap up in 15 minutes we have to wrap up in 15 minutes and i want to get one more thing and i want to sure. get some super okay myron okay myron